the abstraction is happening because of this found edge which is really a design shape uh, and uh, the the metallic feeling of uh, the Vargas Frazetta style metallic pasty on you uh, like a like a warrior woman uh, like this might be interpreted a certain way like uh, uh, like a uh, like Princess Leia style. Wireframe. This is happening because of uh, the nature of uh, the material is being conveyed in this abstraction. Uh, uh, the abstraction is. Uh, Well, this has been drawn uh, almost uh, like the material itself, the nature of the highlight. So there's uh, we can see that uh, it is uh, an organic areola, but it also feels like there's something more to it. This one in contrast is more organic because there's. Uh, uh, there's a softness to it uh, compared to this hardness. This highlight, this half tone happening here is much softer than this happening here. So asymmetry, hard, uh, soft, hard. Uh, almost feels like this one is covered with a metal Thing and this one is not covered by anything. So inversion happening here. Uh, we know that uh, uh, inverted value can also convey a shape so that this could be interpreted as uh, a shape of an entire areola and this blackness would be considered simply a shadow uh, along the form of uh, the piece can we convey that way if this were a softer The shapes can be designed. This one is quite definite though. But it does indicate uh, this border. Uh, that is uh, an edge that is uh, what he would call a found edge. Uh, perhaps a, a cast shadow. Which it is. Uh, but uh, it it could also be a a fold of the skin uh, uh, of uh, uh, like a fold of the skin of the breast, indicating that uh, uh, the breast is uh, 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 more more suspended uh, if it were interpreted as a cast shadow then then a fuller form could be interpreted then uh, because this is coming through straight and clear Form. So is is there an entire suit
like a speedo uh, diver suit uh, that feels sheer or is there none here this border can be interpreted as uh, either an areola or it could just be the sh uh, the shadow uh, uh, can be interpreted both ways as if a compression is happening in the form over here so that this part just goes into shadow as uh, this part is going uh, and this is darker due to the compression. Uh, can be interpreted as a, and uh, as a as a leak. This, this, this is important. This, the, the subtlety in finding the edge is what massively opens up uh, the, uh, so that uh, in, uh, very less completion here. Just this uh, has been done. So could be interpreted as uh, a nipple with uh, could be interpreted in various ways. feels like an inverted panty, uh, like an inverted thong. Split happening between what is seen and what is felt. These form lines can convey a sense of a th um, like a thin pair of leggings being uh, wrapped around the whole subject uh, and the target of the the waistline could be interpreted in multiple ways multiple targets Should be seen individually, though. The whole legging. whole pair of leggings and this this hardness of the highlight conveys the the material the the quality of uh, the material you would imagine this highlight too uh, it's a material based highlight from the hardness of it rather than a skin based softness to it so helps with the abstraction 
so it almost uh, feels like uh, uh, whole flow to it. Almost like a mental uh, Shape finder, uh, isn't it? So then, he, once uh, in that flow, then this can also be considered to be a material, uh, and then. Perhaps the whole thing could be imagined as a, a suit. Uh, that is perhaps undone. Like a zipper in various ways. So the form lines are helping that abstraction. The nature of the highlights convey a sense of material. And that leads to uh, a dress being there. Uh, then one begins to imagine the location of targets uh, of that so that uh, the target uh, could be anywhere that the subject uh, uh, prefers. And these, the, the nature of these highlights convey a sense of believability because they're rendered dif differently, abstractly, from uh, with the help of form lines and uh, uh, this is edge-based uh, finding rather than value-based rendering. Because the edges are being rendered uh, in a certain quality, and that is the preference of seeing for the artist. Uh, this is an; uh, these are edge-based abstractions, so that the artist is uh, more occupied with finding the edges, uh, allowing the viewer to begin to s create uh, uh, value inversions in various levels of mildness and be able to see shapes and find targets uh, uh, so that when an artist is thinking in terms of edges uh, the edges are being found and uh, uh, the emphasis is on uh, leaving the edges uh, rather than the completion of the value the nature of the edges, the softness and the hardness of them. For, uh, having a, a system for uh, conveying uh, edges. So there are three lines here um, uh, to indicate a certain quality to this edge. Uh, these edges have been represented in a certain way compared to this edge which would be one stroke uh, these edges would be multiple strokes because they're softer the lesser the number of strokes the harder is the edge so that 
when the artist finds a hard edge and uh, he indicates the softness of the edge transition in this shadow area softer than uh, what is indicated with the pen as it merges uh, uh, with the softness of uh, the value uh, simply enough value is put in the area to adjust the softness of uh, the edge in question that uh, the artist is thinking about and uh, the value is left unattended to so that it is whatever it was uh, uh, after the job was done uh, it's a way of producing counterintuitive values uh, helps with abstractions so panty versus uh, non so here the amb ambient uh, occlusion is uh, being conveyed so that uh, even though the tank top exists one may think uh, uh, even though the top exists one may think uh, of ways of completion of uh, the form Happens with Instagram photos too. So of course beyond the obvious, uh, the nipples and uh, uh, these these indicators. Uh, That's how the brain would complete uh, these with shapes like these rather than uh, if a brain uh, if an artist uh, tries to complete uh, the shape in geometric terms, it loses the the realness of. Uh, how the brain prefers to perceive it. Beyond that then because of these value transitions that may be uh, can we call it abstractions because these could be considered as patterns by an individual so that the 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 clothing itself was printed this way or it could be considered as a flat clothing with shadow gives a gives a lot to play with uh, so could be interpreted as uh, a certain kind of a strap and then this would be uh, the top and this would be the bra strap however uh, this line is created because of the gun and this can be seen but it felt like it was the top it's a shape based abstraction here with uh, this uh, various ways of uh, interpreting it we see the metallic texture quality and uh, these found edges zigzags supply various targets uh, 
so within the form two we are seeing uh, the pen isn't the the pen could go thinner than this but uh, over here we are seeing lines that are form such as this uh, and this line would be so within this form there are shapes happening a curve this way a curve this way so it's supplying targets for the brain to think in different ways uh, there's one over here too, there's one going here too, this one, and this one. Then there are these, which we just saw. There's this one cutting across. This is happening because of... Uh, the con uh, the the choice to make uh, these indications uh, and uh, these marks are subconscious uh, rather than designed uh, and they allow for that flow of thought in the viewer the edge is uh, only indicated here so various ways of thinking. Uh, the material edge uh, exists over here the, as if this were a certain kind of material rather than uh, indicated by the, the quality of the edge, the hardness of it, the, uh, the, the texture of the highlight. So uh, this can be seen as incomplete and felt to be complete or it can be seen as complete but felt to be incomplete uh, because of uh, uh, the value in inversion we get a sense of uh, tan lines uh, tan being there which um, which can be felt but is not uh, clearly seen This feels like leggings. Uh, because of the nature of uh, the counterintuitive nature in which the form lengths are indicated, which uh, indicate that this fabric is uh, across a form that would uh, normally go this way, which is being indicated. Uh, the fabric with which the form is going the fabric is drooping this way so that uh, a sense of hollow is uh, being created in this region which indicates that there is some uh, layer of uh, stuff uh, that is uh, over the skin so that if this were skin the form lines would not naturally go this way but there's something over it uh, uh, conveys a sense of uh, something being f uh, being there these marks the brain tends to complete feels like leggings but from the feet we know that they are not 
from the nature of the highlight we can get a sense of the material of the leggings. Shape based feels like uh, this might terminate over here and is asymmetrical so that this is the other part is kin can be interpreted as simply a crease in the fabric uh, which would be a, the second configuration this uh, is uh, a part of uh, uh, surprisingly hard edge could indicate that uh, the fabric uh, terminates here and this is a really just uh, a print pattern in the whole fabric uh, could also be inter interpreted as a print pattern uh, so the counter uh, intuitive edge uh, edge indication helps create these value abstractions so that the value feel believable in uh, either context. This shape is, uh, is uh, descriptive uh, to the Uh, the brain tends to complete it in various ways.